Hey Solomon, it's Mrs. Englade. Um, so this, this, what I'm about to show you is what we did on Monday for our lesson. So if you want to follow along and get out the papers that I sent to you, it's going to be this form called Different Types of Relationships. The next page is going to be Notes with the Relationship Pictures. And the third and fourth pages for Monday's lesson is going to be comparing the relationships A and B, okay? So pause the video if you need to to get those uh, ready, but I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, because it's probably going to be a pretty long video. So today's lesson was on additive and multiplicative relationships. And so we talked about how do we think additively and how do we think multiplicatively. And so we looked at the different relationships with our Cuisinaire rods. So they were, sh they were asking for the relationship between the Cuisinaire rod for a yellow and a white. And so I talked through the kids with why is um, the additive relationship that the yellow is four units longer than the white? It's because it takes four more units, one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, to make up the remainder of that yellow, right? And so that's why we say it's four units longer. And that's an additive relationship because we're talking about how much longer or how much shorter is. So if we talk about yellow, we can also talk about white. We can say that a white rod is four units shorter than the yellow, okay? So that's additive. Multiplicative is talking about how many whites does it take to make up a yellow? So how many groups, if I have one group of white, how many does it take to make up a yellow? And so they say the yellow rod is five times longer than the white because it would take five of those to make up the yellow. So we can say five times as long. We can also compare the white to yellow and say that the white is one-fifth of the yellow because, again, it takes five of the whites to make up yellow. So this is only one-fifth of my yellow. So we went through and we did the rest of them. And so I'm going to do the purple and brown together with you. And then I'll show you the relationships between the rest and maybe you can work through it and then check your answers on the video. So a purple rod and a brown rod looks like this, right? And so if I were going to draw a picture, it would look like this. So here's my brown rod. And in comparison, my brown rod is... Um, is about half of it, right? And so I'm gonna go ahead and write that there are four units and where that comes from is the units is how many of those whites. If you remember, we talked about the Cuisinaire rods and it's all built on these white rods, right? So it's four units long and a brown is eight units long. So in a minute, when I show you all of these so that you can do those on your own, I'm gonna tell you how many units long each of those rods are, okay? So the purple rod, if I wanna talk about additive, I would talk about how many more units does it take to make this eight? And so we would say the purple rod, it's shorter, right? And so the purple rod is four units shorter, shorter than the brown, shorter than, and I'm just gonna abbreviate brown for BR, okay? The brown rod then is four units longer, four units longer than, than the purple. Okay, so that's talking about how many units shorter or longer something is. That's additive. Okay, you've probably have been doing that since kindergarten. If you would say, you know, I have two cupcakes and your friend has five cupcakes, how many more do you have or how many less do you have? You've been talking about that ever since kinder. So now we're going to talk about, and you heard me say it, I said that I was drawing the purple half as long as the brown. And so the purple rod, the purple rod, how would we say that compares to the brown rod? We would say that it is half as long, half as long as brown, right? And then what would we say about the brown rod in comparison to the purple? You would say the brown rod is two times as long as purple, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do, and you can go ahead and continue watching the video if you need to, but I'm gonna go ahead and put out, because I know you probably don't have the Cuisinaire rods memorized. You could probably get it on the internet though. But a blue looks like this, and a light green looks like this, and I'm gonna write those relationships beside it. So a light green is worth three, and a blue is worth nine. 
they want to know the relationship between a red and an orange so that's going to look like this if you want to draw the picture and of course smaller size right the red is worth two units and the orange is worth 10 units so if you want to pause your video and go ahead and see if you can't work through the additive thinking and the multiplicative thinking um and then I'll, I'll come back. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to write down my answers and then um, you can come back and check your answers. So go ahead and pause your vis video too if you don't want to see what the answers are, okay? So go ahead and work on those right now. Okay, so let's see how you did. So the answers are here for you. So you can go ahead and take a look at um, whether you got the correct answers. And, um, and then that's what we're going to do on the next paper. So, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. this. So this was part of notes. This is what the kids put in their, in their um, journal. And so then we went ahead and talked about Josie and Kashari were walking to school, each walking at the same speed. So one of these is an additive and one of these is a multiplicative relationship. I will tell you that this one is an additive relationship. Let's see if we can figure out why. Josie started first. When Josie has walked four blocks, Kashari begins walking. How far will Kashari be when Josie completes 12 blocks? So I really acted this out in class. So essentially, so essentially Josie, I'm going to use a number line. So Josie is going to start off by walking. And so here's the starting line. And she's going to walk one, two, three, four blocks. Finally, after I or after Josie walks four blocks, Kashari is finally going to start. So Kashari waits around until she has walked four blocks. And so Kashari now finally starts walking after she's walked four blocks. So I acted it out in class and I said, okay, once Josie has walked five blocks, Kashari has only walked one. When Josie has walked six blocks, Kashari has now walked two. When Josie has walked seven, Kashari has walked three. And so we d discovered that the difference between each of these distances is always four blocks. There's always four blocks distance between the two of them. So the question is, when Josie completes 12 blocks, where will Kashari be? That's the question that it's asking. And so the kids saw, well, if there's always four blocks difference between them, Kashari will be at eight. And that's that additive thinking because there was always, I was always subtracting four from wherever Josie was, I was always subtracting four, or I could take Kashari wherever she was and I could add four to get Josie, okay? So this was additive, additive thinking, okay? Let's look at this one. Camille and Reagan are baking cookies using the same recipe. Camille makes four dozen and Reagan makes one dozen. So I drew out Camille and I drew out Reagan. So Reagan makes four dozen cookies. So I'm just going to draw four circles. And Camille makes only one dozen. They're using the same recipe. Okay. It says if Reagan uses three ounces of chocolate chips, how many ounces will Camille use? Well, if Reagan for the one dozen uses three ounces of chocolate chips, right? Every one of her dozens is going to take three ounces, right? So three ounces, three ounces, three ounces repeated four times would be 12 ounces. This is a multiplicative relationship because I multiplied the three ounces for one recipe times the number of, of cookies, dozen of cookies that, that she made to get the 12 ounces. It would look like this in a table. It would look like recipe, and this would be my chocolate chips, right? One recipe calls for three ounces, two recipes calls for six ounces, three recipes calls for nine ounces, four calls for 12. This is a multiplicative relationship because I'm always multiplying by three. Every recipe calls for three ounces of chocolate chips. So that's why this one is multiplicative, okay? Down here, additive thinking is present when a constant number constant number is added or subtracted, okay? So up here, Josie, I could add four to to get Kashari's number. Kashari, I could take away four to get to Josie's number. So a constant number is added or subtracted. Multiplicative thinking is present when a constant number is, I bet you can guess it, constant number is 
multiplied or divided, right? So right here, I would multiply the number of recipes times three to get the chocolate chips. If I wanted to go the other way, I, I knew chocolate chips, I could divide by three to get the number of recipes that I made. So I'm multiplying or dividing by a constant number for multiplicative thinking, okay? So that is also part of your notes that we put into our journal. This was homework. This was homework, and pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to look at, um, look at the scenario, read the scenario, and you're going to read the statement that goes with it, and you're going to say, is this an additive statement or is this a multiplicative statement? So let's see if we can draw a picture. Let's see what it says. Marcus and Tatum spent some of their babysitting money on gummy bears. Marcus bought 14 ounces of gummy bears, and Tatum bought 7 ounces of gummy bears. So let's think about what that picture would look like. And so if I was going to kind of represent it with a Cuisinaire rod, um, we could just say that this is Marcus with his 14 ounces, right? And then how would that look for Tatum? Tatum would be about half of that amount, right? Because she only has seven, so Tatum only has seven ounces. And so we're going to go through and we're going to see with these statements about whether they're adding or subtracting a constant number or whether they're multiplying or dividing by a constant number. So Marcus bought seven more ounces of gummy bears than Tatum. They're talking about how much more Marcus has than Tatum. So that would be additive. Marcus bought twice as many ounces of gummy bears than Tatum. Now we're comparing groups. So we're t talking about there would be two groups to every one group of Tatum, right? So that's why they said two times as much. So that's multiplicative. Tatum bought seven less ounces. So again, we're talking about how much more or less we have. So that's additive. And Tatum bought half as many ounces of gummy bears. Again, that's multiplicative, comparing how much Tatum bought to Marcus by, um, by the grouping, okay? Explain the difference between an additive situation and a multiplicative situation. In this situation, we added or subtracted, sorry, here, let's write down. Additive for this one would be we added or subtracted by seven, a con that constant number, didn't we? We added or subtracted by the number seven, and for multiplicative, we multiplied or divided by, in this case, it would be two, right? When I take one half of something, I'm, um, it's like dividing by two, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to pause your video, and I'm also going to pause my video, and I'm going to do the rest of the answers for you so that you can see. Now down here, they're going to give you two of the statements, and your job is to see if you can figure out the other two statements. They do tell you that one should be a, an additive and one should be a multiplicative, okay? So that's what you're going to do on that one, and then again, it's a little, just a little bit more practice with they're going to give you the four statements. They're, you're going to say whether it's additive or multiplicative, and then again down here, you're going to say... Um, the two statements and then make the other two statements, okay? So see what you can do with that. The kids actually did pretty well on that homework and I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so let's see what you did with this. So this is the picture that I came up with and I'm not gonna explain everything to you, but these are the two statements. So Carlos and Amanda, we, we compared Carlos multiplicatively, we compared Carlos to Amanda, so of course we would have to go back the other way and compare Amanda to Carlos and that's what I did here. Amanda to Carlos for additive, so we'd go back the other way and compare Carlos to Amanda for the, the um, other additive, okay? So this other one, I'm just going to show it to you so you can kind of see it. I forgot to draw a picture of this one, so let me draw. Ready? So there's the picture for that one, and then here's my answers for down here as well. Okay, so that was Monday's lesson, um, and so I'm going to go ahead and do a video for Tuesday's lesson, which was on ratios, um, and then um, hopefully it'll make more sense.